government at the center india is a union of states the government is at two levels the central government functions at the central level and a state government functions at the state level the powers are divided between the central and states there are three organs at the central level they are one the executive two the legislature and three the judiciary one the executive the legislature at the center if that parliament makes laws required for the country these laws are implemented by the executive the president the vice president and the council of ministers together form the executive the prime minister is the head of the executive nominal and real executive ours is a democratic system of government in such a system government should govern people in a most responsible way as they are elected by them directly or indirectly two types of executives are found in such a system of government the nominal and the real executive the president is the head of the state according to the constitution the administration is run in the name of the president the power of the president is nominal as such a president is described as nominal executive and the council of ministers as the real executive so we adopted in our country a parliamentary system the president the president of india is called rashtrapati he is the head of the state he is the first citizen of the country term of office the term of office of the president is 5 years the same person can be elected to the office of the president any number of times the president can be removed from office through a process called impeachment if he violates the constitution powers the constitution gave the president extensive powers the powers are of two types normal and emergency legislative powers the parliament is composed of the lok sabha the rajya sabha and the president this indicates that the president is an integral part of the parliament the president enjoys the following legislative powers summons and prorogues both houses of parliament and dissolves the lok sabha addresses the joint sittings of both the houses of parliament nominates two anglo indians to lok sabha if there is no representation for them nominates 12 members to rajya sabha gives assent to the bills passed by parliament may return the bills passed by the parliament for its reconsideration however the president does not have power to return the money bills to the parliament for reconsideration as these bills are introduced in the parliament with the approval of the president issues ordinances for the welfare of the country when the parliament is not in session approve certain bills for introduction in the union by state legislature gives assent to certain bills passed by state legislatures emergency powers apart from the above normal powers the president enjoys many more powers during the state of emergency however these emergency powers are not exercised during ordinary times some exigency or an abnormal situation can rise for a particular state or for the entire country this is called the state of emergency three types of emergencies can arise in the country as per our constitution external aggression war armed rebellion internal disturbances due to agitation of the people creating a law and order problem in the country two failure of state administration due to which the government cannot be carried on its accordance with the constitution financial crisis arising in a particular state or the entire country prime minister the prime minister has a unique place in indian politics the constitution gave the executive powers to the president but in actual practice the president exercises these powers only on the advice of the prime minister that is to say the prime minister actually exercises the powers the president is a nominal head of the state the legislature parliament the parliament consists of the president the lok sabha and the rajya sabha making the president as an integral part of the parliament is a symptom of parliamentary form of government the two houses of parliament 
are the Lok Sabha, also called as the Lower House, and Rajya Sabha, also known as the Upper House. Lok Sabha Lok Sabha is the House of Representatives. The members of this house are the representatives of the people elected directly by the voters through universal adult franchise. The representatives are elected from all the states and union territories in the country. The number of members of Lok Sabha from each state is decided on the basis of the population of the state. The Judiciary The Constitution of India provided an, in an integrated judiciary in India. There is no scope for having independent judiciary at centre and state levels. The Supreme Court and the High Courts are integral parts of the same judiciary. The Supreme Court is the apex court in the country. The High Courts work under its control. The Supreme Court is established for interpreting the constitutional law to decide the constitutionality or otherwise of laws to protect the fundamental rights of the citizens. Powers of the Supreme Court Our constitution has conferred on the Supreme Court extensive powers. The powers of the Supreme Court are of three types. They are 1. Original Jurisdiction 2. Appellate Jurisdiction 3. Advisory Jurisdiction